frequent Holy Communion, we should all aim to receive Holy Communion, which is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, as often as possible and with the best of dispositions. These are some of the effects that frequent, well-received Holy Communion produce in the soul of the faithful. First, in the world we have to fight against the devil, the flesh, and the world. One of the most positive means to overcome, con overcome concupiscence within us. That is to say, to overcome the flesh that wants to dominate us is frequent Holy Communion. Second is, Jesus said to the Apostles, Shalom, peace be with you. Frequent and fervent Holy Communions produce within our souls great peace and great joy. Third effect is friendship with Christ. There's no more intimate relationship that could exist in this world than between Jesus Christ and Holy Communion and the soul that receives Him. His body enters into our, our body. His mind becomes united with our mind. His soul becomes united with our soul. His blood actually circulates through our veins. His heart enters into our heart. Can you tell me anything more intimate and profound than Holy Communion? Next is the the devil is out there to trip us, to enslave us, and to drag us into hell. That's his purpose. Holy Communion serves as a shield against the fiery darts of the enemy that we call the devil. The devil has a mortal fear of those people who approach the sacred banquet of the Lord with proper dispositions. And last but not least, the purpose of our life in this short valley of tears that we say in the Hail Holy Queen is to get to heaven. If we receive communion with a proper disposition, Jesus promises us the greatest gift, heaven. He said, I am the bread of life. Whoever eats my body and drinks my blood will have everlasting life, and I will raise him up on the last day. So my friends, let us strive to receive Holy Communion with great faith, with great fervor, and with great frequency.